Welcome to IDB everyone. We've seen Thunderbolt docks around for a while. They've always been useful. We've seen them with the original Thunderbolt, with Thunderbolt 2, and we see them now with Thunderbolt 3. But now they've jumped into relevancy more than ever because the redesign of the MacBook Pro lost all of the ports except for Thunderbolt 3 and that standalone headphone jack. Now it isn't just about the convenience of one cord, it's almost a necessity for all the additional ports that these Thunderbolt 3 docks provide. Today we're looking at the option from Belkin, which is one of the most standout of the bunch. The Thunderbolt 3 Express Dock HD has many of the similar things that we've seen across the line from other Thunderbolt 3 docks. But of course, it comes from one of the biggest names in the accessory industry, which is Belkin. Every product that we've tested from them has pretty much been fantastic. Build quality is always exceptional, and they have a great set of features to go with it. Inside the box of the Thunderbolt 3 Express Dock HD, you'll find the actual Thunderbolt 3 dock itself, a Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is that USB-C uh, adapter or tip on the end, and then of course the actual power adapter down here in the bottom. There are roughly eight ports on here, whether or not you count the actual power intake as a port uh, by itself, which I really don't. On the front, you have a super speed USB 3.0 port, as well as that dual at dual use uh, headphone jack and microphone port. So you can use that with a headset, you can use that for input as well as output, so very handy. On the back, you'll find the majority of the ports. So you have that gigabit ethernet on the left, headphone jack or audio out, two super speed USB 3.0 ports, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and then of course, a display port over on that right hand side for powering a monitor. Like most out there, you can power a single 5K monitor over display port, or using Thunderbolt 3, you can connect two 4K monitors all through this single dock and through this one cable. It's easy to identify as a Thunderbolt 3 cable because of course it utilizes type C for the end type instead of the display port that we've seen on the past two generations of Thunderbolt. It's a, maybe a little bit on the short side if you're trying to bury this dock far away from your computer, but it's not, not anything that a newer cord would not be able to help you with. There is that DC in, standard, there's a big power brick, obviously that big power brick helps keep the size of the dock itself down. Now, why these are so useful other than just the new ports is how easy it is because you can have hard drives, monitors, speakers, internet, everything connect to that dock and plug in one cord to make it work. You can even charge your phone off that front port, but what's a little bit disappointing is you do not get power unless it is plugged into your computer. So I have my iPhone plugged into that port on there, that USB port, and it will not charge it unless it's plugged into my computer. So it's a little bit of a downside and ones we've seen one other dock take care of with a little nice feature, but for the Belkin, unfortunately, you cannot use those USB ports for power unless it's plugged into your Mac. But speaking of power, it does provide power to your Mac, full 85 watts of power, which is nearly all the way up there. The Mac, the 15 inch MacBook Pro can handle 87 watts. So this is just shy of that. So you're pretty much gonna charge your Mac at full speed, which is pretty awesome that you don't need to provide a power cable. So you can keep that in your bag and sit down at your desk plug your Mac in, get all of your accessories, your daisy chained Thunderbolt devices, your hard drives, your phone, your speakers, everything through one dock, just plug that one Thunderbolt cable in and you can have access to everything. So it really is handy on your desk, especially for media professionals that maybe have a lot of stuff plugged in, multiple monitors, multiple hard drive, and because it's still Thunderbolt, you can daisy chain more things together than what you actually have access to. I know some people may be bothered by the limitation of USB. There's only three USB ports on there, but I find that's more than enough. Everything's switching to USB-C anyway, so I don't need more of those legacy ports on this forward-thinking dock. If you want to pick one up, you can find a link below in the description. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.